Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my review of Rage of Bahamut Genesis Episode 3. Out of the three episodes in the series so far, this is probably my favorite one. Because we did get a lot of plot progression, okay? And there's two major things I really like in this episode. First off, uh, that Rita girl, girl that we saw in this episode who's basically a zombie, I really like that. Mainly because it reminds me of a lot of like necromancer stories and I'm a really big fan of those. Okay. Also, I am a really big fan of zombie stories as well, even though they're kind of overdone. And if you watch the ending credits of this uh, of this episode, then you'll basically see uh, Rita and uh, that one dude who was about to kill her but didn't walking side by side to each other. So, which tells me that she's actually going to be joining him. Which is kind of weird because it seems like seems like at the end of the episode, before the ending credits, she was like losing control of herself self finally after like 200 years. But then, but she's still able to retain control of herself. Didn't make much sense to me. Also, when she, first off, how was she able to be revived after the village after she was slaughtered with the village 200 years ago, over 200 years ago? And how did she retain control of herself that time? And apparently now, since she's going to be traveling with that one dude. Like, that's something I really think needs to be answered because it's a huge mystery at this point. Okay, but I really do like that and I'm interested to see where that's going. Although I'm surprised that that one dude didn't try to attack, attack Favreau, though, because first off, he wants to kill Favreau anyways, or at least capture him. And secondly, he does know the uh, bounty on Favreau's head. So it's like, it's really weird that he didn't try to attack Favreau when he had the chance to, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess you could might be able to say that he was, like, a bit too stri stricken by the fact that everything he knew in that village was basically a lie. But still, you'd think he would have tried something instead of just letting Favreau escape. Okay. So, I really like that. And the next thing that I really liked in this episode is we found out what the god key really is. Now, we don't know what it used to be, at least not yet. Uh, when we had, when the, that one chick had that flashback, she basically just showed, like, this giant glowing light which was a pr apparently the god key and she was apparently a really fucking skilled like a uh, demon because she not only broke into the uh basically the god's quarters i'm guessing which a demon should never be able to do and used a technique which only gods should be able to do in order to steal the god key and but to steal it she actually seal she actually sealed its spirit inside of herself which effectively turned, I'm not sure if that's the technique they were talking about though, which effectively turned her into the god key. Which is kind of weird because she's a demon, but she's also the god key, which would kind of make her holy in some way, I'm guessing. So it's it's kind of a weird combination. You'd think something like that would just kill her right off the bat, unless she's like the most powerful demon ever, you know. Also, I think it's kind of interesting to see where the series is going to go next, because... They're talking about falling, fallen angels in this episode. And if I know anything about fallen angels, usually that means Lucifer. Okay. I mean, I, I know there are other fallen angels as well, but I, in mythology, you know. But I, you get what I'm trying to say. So it's very interesting. A lot, a little bit of plot progression in this episode, but a lot of really cool things happen. Probably my favorite episode in the series so far. And yeah, the animation on point as always really the animation was really good in this episode okay i really enjoyed it and the music was amazing as always as well so kind of a short review but there's not a whole lot to talk about in this episode even though it was really good so you know bottom line do i recommend you watch this week's episode of of uh, bah rage of bahamut genesis absolutely if you have yet to see it i definitely recommend that you do okay once again it's probably my favorite episode of, of the three that we've seen so far the series is actually getting really good. I wasn't expecting a whole lot from it, but because it did come from M Mappa after all, but this series is actually getting really good. I'm intrigued and I, about what's going to happen next. I can't wait to see ne the next episode. Okay. So anyways, overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.